AMD has been cutting into Intel's most lucrative markets and its latest Threadripper processors are really making Intel sweat. Since AMD launched the Zen architecture just over three years ago, it has progressed at a relentless pace. At the time, Intel had the workstation market sewn up with its eight core chips that AMD just couldn't touch. But then in 2016, AMD started to make some inroads. It launched the eight core 1950X chip that was aimed at both gamers and creators. It wasn't as fast as Intel's 18-core i9-7980XE, but at $999, it was half the price. And a year later, AMD changed the game again. The 32-core $1,799 Threadripper 2990X was nearly on par with Intel's best workstation chips, including a 28-core Xeon model that cost nearly twice as much. Intel fired back with the $2,000 i9-9980XE, which was still the better option for clock speed intensive tasks like Adobe Creative Suite and gaming. Amazingly though, AMD was now beating its foe at multi-threaded rendering for 3D apps like Blender. Then earlier this year, AMD dropped the gaming-focused Ryzen 9 3950X for just $750, putting Intel on its back foot. And just last week, reviews for the 24 and 32 core Threadripper 3960X and 3970X CPUs arrived. And suffice to say, it wasn't good news for Intel either. Now Threadripper beats Intel's latest Core i9-10980XE chip at all workstation tasks. Some of that is down to just pure core count, but there's also been big improvements in the CPU architecture. And this means that Intel has nothing to counter AMD with in the lucrative workstation market. Not only that, but gamers and enthusiasts seem to prefer AMD chips now too. In fact, AMD has locked up nine of the top 10 spots in Amazon's CPU bestseller list. And to top it off, AMD is going to release a 64-core Threadripper chip soon. This is great news for consumers, but bad news for Intel. If Intel doesn't pull a rabbit out of its hat, it could find itself in an unfamiliar position. Second place. For more on the intensifying battle between these two chip giants, make sure to read our full story over at Engadget.com. And if you want to see how this CPU drama all plays out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And you know what? Hit the bell icon too, just to be safe.